Hi, my name's Alan. I've come to the Lake District to explore. My last video showed that plans can change. And this video might show that I've got no plans whatsoever. To just come, for, uh, come up for the weekend, just to have a potter around, have a couple of coffees, and just make the most of a small weather window. It's been really nice today, really warm. Uh, blue skies, lots of folk out walking, everyone's just having a nice time. So follow me along, Let's see where I get up to, because <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going. I did think this was a bit of a useless gate, but turns out the footpath is actually closed. <laughs> bit of a fence. I like useless gates. It's a shame that it's actually closed, because otherwise that'd be the best useless gate ever. A gated off gate. <laughs> well, I think I've found a cheeky little spot for the night. I don't really know where I was heading anyway. But there's a nice little flat bit here. Yeah tucked out of the way. It's still broad daylight though. It'd be a bit crazy to pitch up now. It's so difficult not to stop at a pub. <laughs> I can't repeat last time. Definitely staying in a tent this time. Tempting as it was to stay in that flat piece overlooking Thelmia, decided to push on a bit more. Hopefully, aiming towards Mosdale, uh, which I can just about make out in the distance. Just uh, cutting in these two mountains there. It looks a lot brighter than it actually is. So, yeah, uh, heading that way into the mountains.
spirits are a lot higher than a couple of weeks ago. Even though the lights have gone out, we're still having fun. Still feel good. I think the main thing is that I've got headphones with me this time. Listening to Bikes or Death podcast. If you've not heard of it, get on it. It's well good. I don't think I've got that much longer until camp. Uh, heading towards Skid or House, but maybe not as far. If we can find a flat bit in the stream, I'll be happy. So I've eventually found somewhere to sleep. I'm right in a valley. The stars are out and it's sublime. It's so nice and still. Oh, so good. Morning! After a super relaxing night, not a breath of wind, no rain, nothing, just cold, still, quietness. It was lovely. I've packed up, left no trace, rule number one. We're gonna go and find breakfast number two, which is rule number two as well. <laughs> Heading down into Kazakh and gonna get a bacon or sausage butty, or maybe both, who knows. And then I'm thinking about heading back through um, Borodale Valley, um, up and over Stake Pass, um, down into Little Langdale, along uh, Grasmere, and then eventually back to the start, which is Stavely. So yeah, um, sun's out again, blue skies. I've looked out this time. 
let's get cracking. one of my most favourite cafes in the lakes. Jasper's, so so good. Sausage and bacon and egg all on a roll. Absolutely devoured it and even had cake as well. Half ten in the morning so it's obviously cake at all. So I'm just heading towards Borrowdale Valley now. Um, we're going to go for up and over steak pass. Um, there's been some really nice cloud inversions today. Really, really, really beautiful out. Snow on the tops of the mountains, it's just beautiful. A few years ago, me and Barry Garden went up there towards Green Up Edge, about 50 meters from the top before we started freezing, and then retreated back down where we rode to the bottom and put on all of our warm clothes and called the taxi because my freehood buddy had snapped.
you can see I've not barely been riding that much. It's always a push and a shove through this part of Borrowdale, or out of Borrowdale. It's somewhat boggy as well. <laughs> you can see Steak Pass in the distance. I actually thought I carried on too far and missed the turn. But luckily, I haven't, so that means I don't have to backtrack. But you just about to see where I'm going to be heading up. There's a waterfall it goes all the way up to the top of the mountain. Just about make it in the distance. That's where I'm going, right up there. Steak Pass is a push up and a push down as well. <laughs> so I've just come from up there down to here and it looks like nothing but it seems to take forever. Definitely sure people can ride that. I can't. It's beyond me. Time of the lakes have come to an end. It's been great not following a route. Just sort of, sort of a general idea of where I wanted to camp. That all went well. So thanks for following along. As always, I'll see you again. <laughs>